Welcome to Computex Technologies. Remember one thing that we are importing files from Open Zeppelin. And blockchain does not verify and publish imported file smart contract. Today we will create token and mint token on blockchain and we will learn about OpenSea. Import these three files from Open Zeppelin. We will be creating ERC721 token. This counter statement will count the number of tokens we will create. Every time there is new token created it will add automatically. Create constructor with no parameters. Here write the name of token, and here the symbol of token. Write a function to create token. This will increment the value of token whenever new token is created. In mint function there are two parameters, first is the token owner and second is the ID of current token. Then set the token URI. Remember one thing that we are importing files from Open Zeppelin. And blockchain does not verify and publish imported file smart contract. But first deploy the smart contract with MetaMask. Now we will verify and publish the smart contract. Select the compiler type. Then compiler version. Then license type. Now the tricky part, to verify and publish the contract, we need a plugin. Select the plugin menu from sidebar. Scroll down and find flattener. And activate it. Click here on flattener icon. Click on this button and this will automatically copy the entire code. You can save the code by clicking here. Just the code here and as you can see it added a lot of code in our contract but do not worry about it. But there is one thing is missing and that is license statement. Now our contract is verified and published. In read contract you can see different things like name of contract, symbol of contract etc. Now write the contract. Connect to MetamSAC.
Now we will create token and for that give here the token URI. Click right and confirm from the MetaMask. Here you can safely transfer the ownership of token. Or you can send some data alongside shifting the ownership. Or you can transfer the ownership of token from here as well. But there is a difference between safe transfer and transfer. From safe transfer you can transfer ownership without any risk, but with simple transfer there is risk of losing the data. Just give the address of the owner and it will show you the number of tokens minted against this address. You can see the name of token is the same as written in the contract. Just give the token ID and it will show you the owner address against this token ID. You can see the symbol is also the same. Just give the token ID and it will show you the token URI. From the token creating transaction just copy the address of contract. Well, now open testnets.openza.io. In the search bar paste the address. And here it is showing the token we created earlier. You can see it has the same name as we give to our token. Just go into its details. And here you can see everything related to our token. You can set the price of token. You can set the quantity. Or the currency type.